Hey everybody, I'm your man Mike Wolford and you're watching another episode of The Dude's Kitchen. But today, we're introducing a new series called Angela's Kitchen. This is Angela, she's my daughter, and she's gonna be taking over The Dude's Kitchen for about 10 episodes while I'm on special assignment. So without further ado, my daughter Angela. Hey everyone, welcome to Angela's Kitchen, the takeover with me, Angela Munson. I am Mike Wolford's daughter, as you saw in the intro, and today I'm going to be showing you a dinner recipe, but presenting it two ways. This is a Tex-Mex enchilada in the Instant Pot. So easy, everything is literally a dump and run is what I call it. You dump it, you run. So, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like the recipe. Let me know below if you've tried it and any tweaks that you made to it to make it yours. And don't forget to subscribe so that you never miss another recipe again. All right, let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is take this Tex-Mex jackfruit. So this is actually a vegetarian recipe. Um, so it's the Tex-Mex jackfruit. You can find this at any um, grocery store in the cold section. So this is, how many ounces? This is 10 ounces. And you're just gonna dump it in the Instant Pot. Next thing is 12 ounces of cauliflower rice. Trust me, your family's not going to know it's cauliflower rice. It blends so well and becomes a rice consistency when in the Instant Pot for three minutes, guys. Three minutes. So, this one, you dump it and run as well. Next, you have a can of black beans. What you'll do is you will open the beans, put it into a little colander that you can rinse them and shake them out, and that way there's no excess um, juice behind. Just dump those in there as well. And finally, barbecue sauce. I went with the Primal Kitchen's barbecue sauce because they have very clean ingredients. This one is eight and a half ounces. So you just dump it in there. Put the lid on. And set it for three minutes. And now you can get back to homework with the kids, finishing your work, cleaning the house, whatever you need to do. This one will let you know when it's ready and done. Welcome back. So I told you it was three minutes, but we all know how Instapots are. They do have to heat up, get under pressure. So it has been about 20 minutes. So I'm just letting this thing finish steaming and you do have to let it finish before the lid will unlock. Awkward silence. We're still going. Oh, what a minute, just sitting here. Ooh. Yay, okay, so if you hear that click, that means it's done. So, take the lid off. It is gonna be super hot, keep your face away, or you will get the facial you did not want today. So this is what it looks like on the inside. So you're just gonna mix it up. Remember this is a vegetarian barbecue recipe. So you can literally put this on top of anything. You can take it, hi Soren. You can take it to your barbecues that you have during the summer. This is a vegan or vegetarian recipe, however you choose to make it. So this is a great alternative at barbecues for those of us who just don't eat meat and oftentimes we go to big gatherings and we don't have anything to eat besides broccoli. I love broccoli, but not at every gathering. So this is perfect. A big batch serves four to six people. It is the perfect recipe and it's so packed with flavor. All right, so the first way I'm gonna show you how to make this is on that pita wrap. So you can put this on a tortilla, a pita wrap. Uh, you can put it on your Hawaiian rolls or any bun that you choose. I just have these available. So that's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to take one scoop from my handy dandy scoop, put it on top. You can add cheese, avocado to this, whatever you want, but I think this has enough flavor, so I don't really wanna add any of that. The second way to make this is if you are carb conscious, you already know that we have barbecue sauce in there which does have carbs in it. We also have our protein source in there, which is our black beans, our fruit source, which is our jackfruit, and our vegetable, which is our cauliflower rice. <laughs> so we're gonna put this on top of butter lettuce and radicchio. I just got this at Trader Joe's in the pack and I just 
handful into here. You put it on top, and there you have it. A carb-friendly barbecue jackfruit bowl. So, we're gonna try both of these. All right, so the first one I'm gonna try is the salad. I'm gonna get a little bit of everything in there. Maybe. Oh, not too big of a bite. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what my bite looks like. Let's try it. Hot. Really hot. Oh, really good. My eyes are watering. It was really hot because I didn't give it enough time to cool down. So it's heat from it being in the instant pot, not because it's hot itself. Very delicious. Second, hopefully this one will be less hot since so it's been sitting out longer, is my little pita. I'm just fold it like a taco. So good. I could eat either of these every single day for dinner. It's delicious. So thank you for watching. Remember, if you like these videos, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and please follow me on Instagram at the Lunchologist, where I'll be posting these recipes and more. Thanks for watching.